Let's see. Sorry. Oh yeah. Yes, I can. Just a sec. Let me get the public version of it or the the shareable one. Erg. Share. Yay! The Notion double linking system. <laughs> uh, a triumph yeah. user experience. <laughs> Well, and it's like got it's like you have an extra click now to get to it too. You've got to go to that publish uh, screen. Yeah. yeah, so just hiding it away that much more. Okay, there, there's the link. Uh, again, Thanks anyone so feel free to add anything. I put our current set of attendees down. If you don't want yourself listed there, feel free to remove yourself. Um, but cool. Well, welcome everybody. This is July twentieth already, so it's been a few weeks since we last gathered. I know the last meeting was you know, small and brief as well. Um, but we'll we'll jump into it and uh, take take it from take it from there. So we are good. I think we're good on these guys. Um, yeah, again, feel free to add any agenda items. Uh, in terms of implementation updates, um, you know, I guess one can I can speak to as others on the call. Um, we plan to have us on the Kubo front have a zero twenty two RC early next week. Um, this will include the IPIP four twelve, which will get talked about here shortly. And, um, there's also some good changes happening in go, go to P2P around smart dialing uh, that, uh, you know, and they do black hole detection. So that's now on by default. And in their measurements is reducing the number of dials by at least by, by over 35%. Uh, so excited to have that in, but we're not exactly sure what uh, ramifications that's also gonna have. So interested in getting that into the RC phase. Um, and then there are a couple of pretty important bug fixes that are happening um, you know, listed there. So that's on the the Kubo front. Helio wise, there hasn't been a lot of you know new feature activity last couple few weeks with people out on vacation, etc. So nothing to report there. Um, maybe looks like there's some IRI updates coming in. Sorry, I'll, I'll type this as I speak this. So two things we cut 0 0.5.0, which uh, for us includes support for um, two important things for as an as an IPFS implementation. One is our whole pending solution has landed in the actual um, IRO implementation, which uh, we previewed a couple of calls again. I'll go and Casey mm -hmm. from our team uh, attended the lib P2P monthly meetup and gave a big talk about the IRO hole punching strategy. So that is up on the lib P2P YouTube. If you want to check that out, it sort of compares and contrasts. And Marco from the P2P team had a great sort of back and forth with Casey talking through the distinctions and the differences. Um, some exciting stuff emerging there, including Martin Simon uh, proposing in the IETF quick net traversal stuff, which we're keeping an eye on, and uh, we think may actually really apply nicely to some of our work in the long run. But on the other side of things, uh, we in 0.5.1, we also put a little more work into custom collections, which uh, in IRO, we have blobs, which are just basically CID of opaque bytes, and then collections, which are the only thing that we have for links. And there's been a lot of uh, energy on our side because we've had a number of folks who have wanted to use IPLD data structures for that. And so we now support the notion of custom collections, which means you can literally use DAG sleep or DAG JSON to represent links that you can write an extractor that IRO will be able to use and utilize. Um, and so it, it requires custom coding on behalf of the teams working on it, but we have found in practice that's probably the better approach to take. And so we've just kind of de-opinionated IRO about collections even more uh, in an effort to make space for folks who want to just BYO linking scheme. Uh, you still can't do giant graphs with it. So you can't do this like things that link to things that link to things, but we can at least have this really nice mechanism of like, hey, do you want to represent uh, your data or your your collection, your what would you call it, your compound types that link to other blobs via um, DAG seaport. That's totally doable now, and the, we have some examples of how to do that in the release. So those are our big updates. Cool. Do you thank, do you thank. stash for the big codec blocks? Do you stash or the big uh, like collection blocks? Do you? stash anything in the codec field or is it just raw and then the user it's figures raw. It out yeah and so iro is defined as request response you have to know that you're asking for a collection before you do it and so you basically have to indicate in both the putting in and the taking out that hey this is going to be a thing that represents a collection uh, and so there's nothing in the multi-codec field that gives you any distinction uh we have talked a lot about that and uh we i think some projects have an interest in having 
exposing at least the capacity to set the multi-codec field. I haven't made a decision one way or the other on how that's going to work. I mean, but. it doesn't it doesn't really matter from like a, a block protocol perspective, which is kind of the request response you might be operating as. And so like, yeah, you can always kind of add it later when the need that's the theory. Up. It's just like, let's see how far we can get. And if it's needed, yeah. then we'll add it. But um, for now, that's there. But it, it, what we thought was very important was to try to sort of like just get ourselves to be less opinionated across the system so that we had a really clear and easy plug-in like, hey, you don't have to change your data and, and DAG Seabor is great. And so you should be able to use it. At least that's one I want to use. Several other projects use. Yeah. Okay, that's all I had, Steve. I, I yield yeah, back my time you. or whatever. Yeah, that's great. Stays. That's good. <laughs> Thank, thanks for sharing. Yeah, and I assume there's no other implementation updates anyone wants to give or aware of. Cool. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, so I think we'll, uh, well, I guess you just said, hey, hey, hi there. Well, welcome, Hannah. Uh, we were just in the just in the middle of giving any up implementation updates. If you, there's anything you'd like to say about last year, we're certainly welcome to. Uh, otherwise, we're going to move over to IPIPs. And sorry to put you on the spot, but that was right at the transition point. No worries. Uh, sorry for being late. I had another meeting scheduled. Um, uh, new lastly stuff. Um, we have a new release. Uh, but uh, mostly it's underlying code refactors and whatnot. Um, we are working, uh, we actually finished uh, range support for IP402 in Lassie, but then we had to revert it, working on unreverting it. Um, and then, yeah, that's, that's, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to develop. Uh, we're also working on metrics for people who want to use Lassie to like, uh, have really good insight into what's going on on the back end um, uh, in terms of the back end provide uh, like the upstream providers. Um, that's about it for us. We're not doing a whole lot. Uh, we might hit 1.0, and that might be a thing. But would it would be the first one at 1.0. I'm just looking at these. <laughs> oh God, whatever. It's... <laughs> Jk. Just skip. Yeah, just start at three .0. Just start what? at 3.0, you can do it. I mean, yeah. Um, that's all we have, sorry. Continue with more important cool. items. Cool, Th thanks, Anna. Thanks for sharing. Um, great, well, let's turn it over to, to Lytle. You wanna lead us through the latest in IPIPs? Uh, yeah, this will be short and sweet, I think. Uh, so the two IPIPs around improving cars returned by Trustless Gateway. Uh, they've been cooking for a while, so I think it's a good. And I've been, they're like never that fully baked, but there's a point when you get diminishing returns on the feedback. And I feel we did reach the point where we, we have, we shipped the implementation of one of them in Kubo. We have reference implementations and conformance tests, and we are fairly happy with uh, the spec. Uh, if there are gaps, we can clarify it. Uh, but I feel we got like a rough consensus around the scope. So the plan is to do ratification, uh, which is kind of like a formality, but just heads up to the community that will most likely merge both uh, before the next um, the next uh, IPFS implementers, unless there's sudden very loud veto from uh, some uh, a stakeholder, but I don't expect that to happen. Um, so last call to drop feedback and questions. We can sneak them in if it's... Uh, Clarifying, I don't expect changes in behavior because we made them very, very targeted and limited. They mostly create a space for future improvement rather than solving all the problems we have today, which I think is fine. It's better to do incremental uh, improvement of the API than being stuck in the spec work for a year <laughs> and not shipping anything. So those two, uh, take a look uh, if you care about them or especially if you implement them uh, on both. Uh, I also like there, there are like either text fixtures on the IPIP or there are there's a there are proposed uh, fixtures in the gateway conformance uh, test suit. Uh, before we merge, I do the usual editorial and make sure the CIDs match the uh, CIDs from the conformance test. So kind of like if you want to implement them, you also get uh, fact, uh, test fixtures for free. And there's a related one, which 
got to extract uh, kind of like this code from the 402 uh, signaling features on HTTP gateways. Um, it's been a request from various stakeholders. Uh, TLDR is that there's no way, like we, we keep adding optional features to gateway um, or more capabilities to gateways, but then you don't know, there are like many gateways in the public and in the centralized system, you don't really know uh, what the version or what the implementation the other end uh, runs. So I think we reach the point where we need to agree on some sort of uh, if, efficient way for signaling features, like probing gateway, hey, what do you support? And this is the IPIP. Uh, this is the very first draft. Where t the way uh, I propose to do it is through HTTP options, mainly because it's part of HTTP uh, spec and also browsers already send that as a probe for cores. So at least in the case of web browser, we may avoid adding new requests um, unless uh, on top of what, uh, what already happens. Um, and the open question here uh, for anyone what, like on, on the call and also like people who are watching this uh, would be, where's the line in the sun? How much do we announce, right? So support for those optional IPIPs, DAX scope, entity bytes, ordered uh, cars, yeah. I guess that's that was the cause why we um, raised that um, need for that IP. But then the question is like, do we also signal what uh, hash functions the gateway supports? Right? Does the gateway support Blake free, or what uh, IPLB codecs are supported for the DAG traversal? Right. So I want to use uh, I can do block by block, but if I want to fetch a DAG, and I want to request a car. Well, for which codex the car requests work? Uh, that I think that would be useful. So this is just food for thought. If you have something that you feel we should announce, or maybe you don't like the syntax, the bike shed, bike shed time is now, I think, but also it's very useful to get as many, um, as many voices. And we got some feedback from uh, folks for, uh, implementing IPFS. Um, uh, in Chromium, we got some uh, feedback from people implementing light clients, but I would get like to get like as many voices uh, uh, as possible uh, from both like light clients, but also people who work on the backend and need to work with unknown third parties to retrieve data. Um, yeah, so that's why I, I kind of like flag that. Um, and th there's a, of course, there's a long tail of IPIPs uh, related to content routing and other things, but I feel uh, for for now, for this group, um, those would be my highlights, those three. And I see Robin has a uh, hand. Yeah, just uh, I haven't had time to review the, the, the 425 yet, but just as a, um, a may, maybe bike shedding, um, it, as you said, we don't know how many features, you know, this, this could grow to be a, a pretty long list potentially. Um, uh, have you considered returning a body describing what's supported instead of using a header? Because the headers, they, I mean, there's theoretical limits on 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 the on how much how, how many bytes you can use. So a, yeah, a JSON yeah. body, for instance, could maybe solve that. Yeah, totally. So that's like um, an interesting question because uh, so far the gateway spec does not have any description of the body, kind of like the. J we return JSON and this is the schema. There's no such thing. We you we talk through paths and headers and you get some payload, but the payload is a uh, content address data. Uh, I, I'd say it's like an open question and that's uh, a valid thing that we would, we should put. I don't think, I think we, there, there's like an alternative section in the IP. So I've put a uh, well-known uh, the, the path as one of alternatives, uh, using a body. Uh, do, do, are you thinking about body on options or? Yeah, I'm thinking of body. All, yeah, I mean, I, I saw that you listed dot well known, and and this has potential issues. But I think there's no reason that we can't use a body on on an options response. 
Uh, I, if I remember correctly, HTTP is kind of loosey goosey on on whatever you want to do with options. Yeah, yeah. So that it's it's, it's always interesting because there's like, oh, HTTP spec says that the trailers are like a thing, <laughs> and then you cannot use them in the browser, right? So I I, I wonder if uh, uh, like we need to check, right? We, we need to like yeah. uh, check if like actually I can read the body, of, namely like if I'm uh, run JavaScript on a page. And I want to fetch blocks from some gateway, and I yep. want to like upgrade it to fetching cars. Uh, am I able to read body from the option request, right? So yep. if it does not work, effectively we have this uh, JS on a page as a lowest a common denominator. We, we like we, that thing needs to work because uh, that's like a fairly constrained environment, and we don't want to have different signaling methods for different yep. clients, right? Uh, if it works, I I, th I think that's a valuable option, um, but then we need to figure out the format, right? Or it, it, so yeah. To, if it, it, there's this, we want to check that, and we also want to check that it doesn't break cores. If like you return a body as uh, as your as as a response of the pre-flight and cores goes like, then that 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 would also be a a showstopper. Yeah, uh, yeah. That it's it's yeah it's tricky it's tricky because on one way we are kind of like piggybacking on existing thing but then we don't want to break the existing thing um but yeah uh, it's like uh the, the ipp is a draft so it's a good time to to drop those comments there and i, I like i would uh, like drop that uh on the ip so other people can see that as well this also means if, if if you are considering you're like i'd like to use the gateway api for something but maybe not all of it then you might want to chime in with your description of like, I would like to be able to describe that. Please don't bother me with these other requests that I don't know how to support so that your area is carve outable. Cool. Th think this is, yeah, this is interesting. Thanks for surfacing, um, Lytle. Any other questions or comments from anyone about IPIPs? either specific ones or the process as a whole right now. Okie dokie. So that that's, was the end of the things listed on the agenda. Does anyone have anything else they want to bring up or add? I'm behind on our car spec and I didn't work it on it. It's, it's going to happen. Is it, yeah, I guess is is there any is there anything that you would like uh you like me to help with or, or support there? Um or are you sort uh, of like I just want to I want to muck around with with some some Rust code and see how this plays out and we'll yeah I wanna I wanna do that and I wanna work through the like I actually do want to work through like the ABNF of what the changes look like, um, which is gonna be demanding for me to do some time. I realize in the call just that this doesn't seem like we're uh, alluding to something in the secret or working on an IPIP in the background that will yeah. su support for bigger blocks to car files. I think there are a number of applications for that. Uh, but we got to get our acts together and actually write the thing. Man, everybody's very busy. <laughs> so um, uh, we will, uh, we're trying to use this this meeting, uh, this bi weekly meeting, as a deadline. But uh, it's been tough. We'll do it again. So hopefully, more in the future. As of right now, it's just blocked on yeah. time and everything. All good. Question. Thank you. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Hannah, you had a question? Go ahead. Yeah, there's no, I, I don't think there's any immediate urgency around this. Um, I'm wondering though, do, do you feeling like you guys, you're you guys over at Ira are actually are gonna like does it still feel like you're gonna have time? I know you guys got a lot going on, and it's okay if the answer is no. Like, you know, we'll have to figure <laughs> out no one's gonna pick it up or you know or one of us is going to pick it up or yeah uh no to yeah i i we will have time genuinely okay. i think what what has happened is we have uh we got to get a little bit of marketing done and that yeah. deadline is a hard deadline for august 1st once that's finished i'm gonna free back up again uh i think the onus is on us to do this because we made a lot of this noise in the first place <laughs> so we're i think it's you know i'm happy to and i think the uh, opportunity to Propose something that would increase the compatibility between Kubo and Iro uh, universities. I think is uh, very exciting, and so we're, we're properly motivated. We're just uh, a 
promo video jump to the word queue in my universe. It's maybe as a as a I guess I don't know re reminder reminder shout out. Um, I think uh, a something that was proposed as an IPIP here got moved to Filecoin land as an FRC mm. uh, here, uh, which is basically just requesting uh, requesting comp objects which are themselves basically just large blocks uh and so mm. it's 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 basically a, a slightly different api that looks an awful lot like it should just be it's just ask for raw block okay. but it's very large raw block um yeah is, so also they, the they may still point. live separate but there's some room for these things looking similar also yeah yeah, the Filecoin hashing is not nearly as nice as that is in multiple respects. So, like, I would not, okay. not, I mean, not don't overburden your task with. with <laughs> oh no! It, yeah, I would say this is not like a this is not a you thing. It's more of like a once this once we see how this looks for you know say like three, then we could see what happens when people try and if they're interested in plugging it in for other ones. Well, good. Okay. I guess my, my only happens to be to like that. a suspiciously familiar looking API. Mm. um yeah I, I guess my follow-up to that is is there any time sensitivity to this bit like is it the kind of thing that needs to ship anytime soon is it so that no i i don't i don't think there's a particular time sensitivity for when this needs to yeah. ship i mean this is part of why they have they have like a separate there's a separate endpoint with things that look different because right. it's not quite the same anyway um but yeah it's a separate separate yeah. issue okay. i'll i'll be happy when it when it ships so if that's a time dependent thing you know yeah. nice well, the okrs yeah. we're tracking is it's time time to uh time time to, to hannah happiness on yeah exactly yeah that's a tough one and not gonna hit that <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah, thanks for bringing out. Did anyone have anything else they wanted to raise? I don't know if it's appropriate here, Robin, like any of the ITF with multi formats. I don't know if that was covered last time or if you want to surface anything here. Not that we need to, but that, that was something coming to mind. Any of the, of the what, sorry? Oh, like the multi formats, uh, multi -formats ITF, with ITF. Oh, um, it's, you know, say moving along gently. Uh, there's, there's, <laughs> um, Bumble Fudge has been, has been putting together. Um, a bunch of um, a bunch of like sort of tighter proposals, um, and ITF is coming up. Um, so fingers crossed, the people will be interested. Um, I don't know if if I forget if that had been discussed in this group or not. Um, I'd put together a a very drafty strawman um, version of a, of a governance model for, for the, 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 the table, the, the table. Um, and, um, we, we basically took that, um, and, and, and made it the, the proposal for the registry that, um, I and I would, would manage under this, uh, the, the, this process. Um, so we'll, we'll see how it goes, uh, when it's, a bit more um, uh, cleaned up. I'll definitely bring it to this to this group because I, I I think it'll be interesting. Um, and the other thing that might be worth flagging uh, now that I think of it is uh, th there's there's a bunch of discussions around the, the block list format. Um, we have two two IPIPs open, uh, but there's also the decentralized data um, compliance group that's interested in that, and so we're basically trying to make sure that we get requirements at the operator level that inform what we do at the format level rather than doing it the other way around. Um, uh, but I, I, same thing, this is, it, it's still, it, it's still pretty, a pretty early draft. So I'll, I'll, I'll take a couple more stabs at it before, before I bring it here. Cool. Okay. And are you expecting that to bring changes to the two IPIPs? Or because basically there's the original one from Cloudflare and then a revved version on that that I believe Hector from PL drove right um, in like that. It, it's possible that there might be changes at, ver at the very least to the, uh, at, at, at the very least to how the format is specified. 
Um, mm -hmm. My concern right now is, I mean, basically, basically one of the biggest concerns I have with the whole enterprise is if we create a format um, where it's too easy for operators to shoot themselves in the foot in the sense of if there's if there's uh, interrupt issues and as an operator you think you're being safe because you think you're getting a a deny list from a trusted source but because of interrupt issues your your server is, is actually not blocking content that it should be uh, that it should be blocking um in some cases this is this is you know something that you could go to jail for so you know we really want to make sure that this is this is as tight as we can make it um, and so I have I have some concerns over the current specification that we I, I think it has too many invisible foot guns in it, uh, but nothing that's not fixable. Okay, cool, good, uh, good, great, great to know. And I assume obviously you're so like you're, you're looking into this, but this this will make its way back into that IPIP. Your yep. thoughts or concerns on it? Okay, yep, yep. cool. I, I ask because I know on the on the Kubo. I mean, obviously. Um, the NPL Andres Bifrast group has put together that NOAA PFS uh, Kubo plugin. And on the Kubo maintenance side, we're looking at this year about like actually pulling that in and making it first class to Kubo just so that operators have a basic primitive that they can use. Um, but you know, I, we weren't planning to do that next month, I don't think, but it's it's in the cards to be doing to be done soon. But it probably makes sense to let some of the dust settle here. Uh, before we do that and make announcements about it, et cetera. So anyway, good, good to know this is in flight. Thanks. Yep. Awesome. Th thanks for sharing. Does, is there anything else percolating for folks that they want to bring up? Okie doke. Well, I think, I think that brings us to the end. So we can end, end early. Nice to see everybody. I'll get this recording up here shortly and hopefully everyone has a good a yeah, good rest of the day and we'll get the, the meeting is back to every two weeks uh, cadence. We'll see folks in a couple weeks, whoever can make it. Ciao for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.